Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So today we are going to see the demo of book management application. So this application is created in Java and we will see how this application works, what are the functionalities we have covered and uh, what are the concepts we have used here. Okay, now let's run the application and see. So when we run the application, then we will see welcome to book management application and these are some uh, functionalities which we are going to cover okay so very first one is to add the book and then the second one is to show all books and then show available books okay so what is the difference between show all books and show available books show all book means it will show all the books okay so whenever some user will borrow the book that time the status of that book will become not available okay and uh, the other remaining books will be available okay so that the our uh, if we want to see what are the books available that time we can see uh, we can enter the choice as a three and we will get all the available books if we enter the choice as a two we will get all the available not available everything okay so this is the difference between show all books and show available books then fourth one is to borrow the book if user want to borrow the book that time we have to enter the choice as a four and then it will ask for the book id which you want to borrow okay and as soon as you borrow the book that means this book is with you and any other user cannot borrow the same book okay that's why the status of that particular book will become not available and when you return that book that time the status will become again the available so that this book is available for any other user now so these are the uh, functionalities we have in this application now let's see so currently we have not added any book now let's enter two two means show all books okay so currently we don't have any book let's see what we will get so see here these are the fields we have and here we are getting the message no book available here okay so uh, if we don't have any book that time we will get the message like this if you can see this message we are getting in red and this uh, fields also we are getting in under color this is also in blue color okay so we will see how we can add some colors also in java okay to this uh, text so this is one thing which we can cover and uh, now let's enter the choice as a three so for three also we will see the same thing because we don't have any books here okay the fourth one is to borrow the book now let's enter the choice as a four so see here whenever we are going to borrow the book that time it will ask to enter the book id okay now let's enter here something like dd and see here we are getting the message sorry please enter valid book id because this dd is not the valid book id okay so here we have done some validations as well so book id should be in digit so like uh, one two three till four digits we will accept here okay so if you enter some symbols then also it will not allow it will give us the same message sorry please enter valid book id okay now if we enter some id like this then also it will say sorry please enter valid book id because this is also not the valid book id here we have uh, given the validation like book id should be any uh, like uh, digit till four digits means one digit two three till four digits uh, it will allow so here if we enter the choice as a 333 then it will allow so here we are getting now another message books are not available to borrow means 333 is a valid book id but this book is not available currently to borrow because in our library we haven't added any book yet okay so that's why we are getting this message now if we see return book and here also the same validations we have used okay so that's why here also if you enter any uh, string or uh, any digit which is greater than four uh, four digits then uh, it will give the same message so here let's enter now six and we will get the message 
book ID 6 is failed to return. Okay. So now let's add some uh, books so that we can perform this operation. So add the book. So whenever we are going to add the book, see this book ID is 1. Okay. So this book ID will generate automatically for the uh, first book it will be first. Whenever we are adding the further books it will auto increment. Okay. So book ID we are not entering. Then enter a title. Okay. So here also if we enter the title as uh, 9, 8 at the rate like this. It will give the message. This is not the correct title. So here we are getting the message. Sorry please enter valid details. Okay. So title we have uh, given the validation like uh, title should be uh, the string. Okay. And it will allow the space. So, here if we enter the digit only, then also it will not allow. Mm, if we uh, enter any symbols, digit, combination, then character, then also it will not allow. Okay. So, here we have to give the string only. So, let's enter the book title as a Java. Okay. Then author. So, for the title and author, we have used the same validation, okay. Here also, we are going to allow only the uh, string and uh, the space, okay. So, author, let's keep A, B, C, D, okay. Then, publish year. So, here if we enter something like this, then it will give the message invalid year. Please enter valid year because this is not the valid one. So here we have to give the valid year. So one, two, these are also the valid years but we have kept here like uh, it will allow only four digit valid year. Okay. So if you enter one, it will give the message invalid year okay so here if we write something like this then also this is the invalid year because it will allow only four digit year so now let's keep 2012 okay so we have uh, given all the correct details and then we will see the message in green book added successfully okay so now if you want to see the book then enter here the choice as a 2 and see how in which format we are getting this details. See here below the ID we will get the ID then title, author, publisher and status. Okay. So this ID will be auto incremented and this status by default whenever we are adding the book it will be available. Okay. Now let's add some more book. So book title let's keep CPP. And author, um, PQR, publisher, let's keep 2020. Okay. So now currently we have two books in our library. Okay. Uh, let's add one more. So title, let's keep operating system. And author will be um, XYZ. And publish here, let's keep something like this. Okay. So, see currently we have three books. Okay. So, here we have one, two, three ID and all are available. These are the titles of the book, author and publisher. Okay. Now, uh, if we enter show available books, it will show all the available books and all books are available for now. Okay. Now, let's borrow the book. Okay. To borrow the book, let's enter the 4 and book ID. Uh, so, here let's borrow the CPP book. Okay. With ID 2. So, let's enter the ID as a 2. See here. As soon as we enter the ID here, we will get all the details of the book whose ID is 2. Okay. And one message, book borrowed successfully. Okay. Now, if now you enter the choice as a 2 and see here for the book whose ID is 2 means this CPP book the status became not available okay because this book is borrowed by somebody okay and if you enter the choice as a show available books then see here 
you will see only two books but actually currently we have three books out of that three one is not available and these two books are still available and a user can borrow these books okay now if uh, let's return this book okay cpp book so to return the book enter the choice as a five and book id so here also see so only uh, the borrowed book we can return okay so but these books are available and if we are entering the book id as a three see here what message we are getting book id three is failed to return because book id three is not borrowed by somebody the three um, book id whose uh, id is three is still available in library and user can borrow that book and uh, if you want to return the return should be like if that book is with somebody then only that uh, person can uh, return that book so currently only the book id 2 is uh, borrowed so that we can return okay so enter the choice as a 5 and here uh, the book id as a 2 so then we will see the message book returned successfully okay so now if you see all the books so status of that book also became available okay so now you can borrow any book okay so these are all functionalities which we have covered in our book management application okay this is a mini uh, project we can see uh, where uh, all the functionalities are covered and here we have used the hash map to store all the book uh, book details and uh, to show this menu we have used the switch case for the validation we have used the pattern okay and also we have added some colors also here just for the nice looking so these are all things we have covered in detail video we will see everything in detail and um, yeah that's it for today's video if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel i will be posting uh, the same kind of videos here so you can also learn the java while doing the programming okay so thank you